course to beep in a tunnel in Jordan. This, this is in America. Also, why is it a thing to beep in tunnels? Or is that just a Bishop Hamlin thing? No, Do you know definitely. anyone else who Oh yeah, have you ever like driven through the Appalachians? Like everybody beeps in the Okay, mountains. okay, just making sure. Yeah, what? Let us know, what's the cultural significance behind beeping in a tunnel? We're getting some gas, guys, and gas in Jordan is ultra expensive, rip. Right, guys, so. Where are you from? Uh, from the US. You see? Yes. America? <laughs> yes. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are from Yemen? Ah, no. this money is really cool. Okay, great. All right, guys, we just gassed up in Amman. We heard that the gas stations are not too frequent once you get out of Amman. So we went ahead and filled up now. It was about $23 to fill up our tank. I don't really know how big the tank is, but we filled up about 16 liters. And we think we have good gas mileage, so we will you know if that's true but it is certainly cheaper to rent a car and get gas because it's $21 a day for us and then gas is whatever a few dollars a day split up an uber just from the airport to our Hilton that we stayed in for a few nights was $45 ubering is rather expensive and driving your own car and being on your own schedule is very luxurious so let's go to Aqaba oh silly me I have an intro this vlog hi guys good morning I hope you're having a great day so far right now we are heading to Aqaba which is in the south of Jordan. It's about a four hour drive from Amman. I'll insert a map right here so you can see where the heck we are in the world. But Aqaba is right on the Red Sea. Our hotel actually has beachfront access to the Red Sea. And in Aqaba, you can go out, go diving, go snorkeling, take a boat out and see all four countries surrounding. So Egypt, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan. We're really excited to go to Aqaba. We're really excited to take you with us. Let's see how this drive goes. So far, so good. There's not that much traffic in Amman at 11 a.m. So we're doing good. We're really excited to show you more of Jordan. Also guys, we picked up a SIM card in the airport and we used a company called Orange. We got 20 gigabytes on Matt's phone. And how much was it? 15 bucks. So not that great of a deal, but <laughs> it's cheaper than like Air Auto, yeah, or, or roaming. Anyways, so we're using our trusty friend Google Maps to take us to Aqaba. Yes. Four hours. I don't want to go to the airport. Why are we going to the airport? We're not going to the airport. Gotcha. We're just on a road called Airport Road. Okay, guys, it feels like we're driving through Tatooine right now, and it is just making us so excited to go to Wadi Rum and to visit the desert here. And we will be doing that in a few days, but this is such a fun drive. Just to clarify, going to Wadi Rum is cool because it's Star Wars, but we don't we pretend the sequels don't exist yet. We're not Star Wars sequel fans. Sorry. What sequels? Oh. <laughs> the sequels? The Star Wars sequels? They have never heard of yet. her. No, never heard of her. Ray? No, never heard of her. Who's that? Anyways, we will give you a bunch of Star Wars content when we get to the desert, but we're just getting really excited. We should buy lightsabers. favorite thing to hear on a road trip? Say what? What? I have to pee. No, no. Well, it's literally, look where we are. There's not another town for like another 60 miles. Okay, we actually found a bathroom at a gas station in the middle of the desert. We're literally in the middle of nowhere, but we found a water closet, so feeling good. I'm a lot of men. You a rookie. I'm a vet. That's why I got a Glock. You got a tip. I have a question. Is 21 Savage one of the best rappers on earth? Not even in the top 100. You should keep on drinking out of that. On this vlog, we stand 21 Savage. Yes, we do. Just literally the lyrics are not great. It sounds like it's talking. Not rapping. Trying to. Because this is mine! 
sorry guys, we're gonna get copyrighted, but it's called Rose Colored Lenses. All right guys, you didn't ask for this, but you are joining us on one of our road trip car jam sessions. And this is how it goes. We listen to a variety of genres. It goes from rap to pop to alternative to... Hillbilly. To redneck. So we always gotta go back to our Florida redneck roots. Here we go. I am a chatty girl on this road trip, but um, if you're worried about driving in Jordan or you're not sure if you should get a rental car and drive yourself, we're here to say that it's very easy. There are gas stations like every 10 kilometers. Right now we're driving on the desert highway down south to Aqaba and also all the road signs are in English. So it's very simple, very westernized and yeah. Definitely. Everybody also drives like super slow here. So if you're scared about like driving fast, don't worry about that either. Yeah, it's one of the safest and best places we've driven. So you have our recommendation. Guys, help. Do we pass? I don't think we can. Wait, that sign says you can pass, I think. It says you can't pass the red. Oh. Uh-oh. Where is he going? Looks like we have to go through some sort of customs to get down to Aqaba. We'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so this is how the customs, it's not a border, but whatever, I guess it's like a border within country. Or whatever. Yeah, this is how it went. It lasted five seconds. We pull up in the car. He said, where are you from? We said the US. He said, oh, welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> That's it. But we did see like a large tour bus. Everyone had to take their stuff off, put it their scanner, go through all that fun stuff so don't know if that's everyone's experience but i do know that they like americans and it was no hassle so I like that's our experience continue on south beach highway for three kilometers hi guys look at this sunset glow i have going on just kidding but the sun is setting we made it to Aqaba. we are right on the red sea we are staying at the mobin pick hotel for three nights and it is extremely lovely of course right now we're just having some nuts to tide ourselves over to dinner because we forgot to feed ourselves today classic matt and patricia move but we'll have dinner here in the hotel in about a couple of hours and that's pretty much it the drive was pretty easy it is true that there's not a lot of traffic outside of amman but also since i last talked to you guys the roads got a little bit rough there are just a ton of potholes and random speed bumps without markings that we flew over <laughs> so that's why everyone drives slow because you never know what's coming up our room is lovely we'll show you it we have a pool view and there are like six pools here so we'll be swimming in them also i have to tell you okay so they brought out nuts for us to eat well, we're also eating like little chicken wings and they're coming out, so I'm getting embarrassed and I gotta go. Pistachios are the superior nut. You can fight me in the comments all day long. Pistachios are superior. Almonds are second. Pistachios are one. Okay, bye-bye. Sunset view featuring a random guy. Okay, like I said, we were starving, so we each ordered chicken wings thinking that it was just gonna be like a small, like, like two or three wings, a little snack platter. And this is a whole like meal with fries. So, YOLO. This place probably used to be like absolutely packed because they have the biggest pool I've ever seen. It just goes on forever. And there's legitimately, like we've maybe seen eight people the whole time we've been here. Could be off season, could be post COVID, but the weather in my opinion is perfect to come this time of the year because it's not like 140 degrees, it's like 85. So now I feel like Kings having this entire place to ourselves. Your first time touching the Red Sea. I feel so red. How do you feel? Very cold. Not a single soul in sight. Guys, I think this might be the biggest breakfast buffet that we have ever seen. There's too many choices for Patricia. It literally looks like a grocery store. Holy mackerel. <laughs> no. Oh, 
hot dog view. We thought that we escaped Mickey Mouse when we left Orlando. And he's following us and we're so scared. <laughs> How did Mickey Mouse make it to Jordan? Or I think that's Mickey Mouse. I don't know, I'm scared. We always feed the animals and then wonder why we're always surrounded by cats and birds. Oh. Get the small pieces I left for. There you go. You're like Snow White, always sharing your food with the, the animals around. It's usually you, Miss Catwoman. Okay. Guys, we're loving this place. It's so nice. Patricia said come in, but I just put it on X3 to look closer. Is that the favorite spot? What are the odds that we eat this whole lemon slice? We're doing it for the content. Cheers. One, two, three. Mm, no, eat that. Am I eating it? We said eat it. <laughs> Bro. Guys, we feel so bougie right now because this resort is so cool at night. Okay guys, so we didn't do too much, so we didn't vlog too much today. But we are just at our hotel and we haven't left. We spent the day sun tanning by the pool and then I got a facial. And now we are at the Italian restaurant in the hotel. We ordered our food and we were just served bread with roasted garlic, sun-dried tomato. And if you know me, I'm obsessed with roasted garlic, so I'm really happy. We forget what this is called, but it looks bougie. All right guys, these are our appetizers and they're like absolutely fire. I got mozzarella di carrazzo, which is like bread stuff with cheese and anchovies. And I got minestrone soup. Looks good though. Also guys, I was basic and got like seafood pasta, but Patricia got the chef special and it I looks sure amazing. Did. I got a beef tenderloin with demi glaze sauce and then I think potatoes and it. zucchini and this looks like sea bass. I didn't know it came with it, but I'll let you know how it is. Looks really good. Is it? Is that fish? Yeah, that's fish. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> this boat is so nice. Driving out to our first off site of the day. Getting geared up for our second off. <laughs> the water is so clear here. It's crazy. You call it a little bit. <laughs> Look how appetizing the water looks though. Thank <laughs> you. 
How was diving today, Patricia? Diving was incredible. I'm so grateful that we get to add this skill to our repertoire and to our adventures and travels. If you've watched this far into the vlog, you know it's quite chaotic. It's obviously a multiple day vlog and we decided to get our PADI certifications while in Aqaba. And you also might be thinking, why did you do that if you're literally from Florida? Why didn't you do it at home? We just never took the time or had the opportunity and we were like, you know what? We're already here. Let's do it. It's a beautiful place to learn. So Patty got Patty certified in Aqaba and so did Maddie. But we didn't get that much footage, obviously, when we were training because it's challenging and distracting to hold the camera and try to vlog while we're also trying to learn all the equipment and just protect ourselves and keep ourselves safe. So it took us two days to get certified and then today we went for fun dives. So we gave our instructor, Matt, Matt from Manchester, our camera. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you can still enjoy this vlog because we have had the time of our lives just relaxing and enjoying the beach, enjoying some warmth and sun for the first time in a long time. We've been in some pretty cold environments and we haven't really been out sun tanning so we feel really good tomorrow we're going to go out into the city of Aqaba and take you with us but for tonight we are hanging out at our hotel enjoying one last sunset and soaking up all this relaxation time that we can also I can't hear out of this ear so I don't know if I'm talking loud enough because this ear is so full of water if you want to know how our diving experience went Matt was an absolute star and he crushed it, killed it, didn't have any problems. I had some issues with my buoyancy, which I'm still working on, um, just figuring out my equipment and staying neutrally buoyant. But we're really excited that we get to add diving to our travel adventures and we will be taking more diving trips before this year of travel ends. So you'll wanna stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, we're really sad because we're leaving this amazing hotel. So, don't mind the chaos, but we are packing up right now and it's been really nice. We've been here for five nights and it's the first time in a while we've been in one place, probably since Kathmandu, where we just stayed in a place for about a week and haven't moved. Yeah. So it's been really nice. Moral of the story is that we don't usually stay in a place for too long. So this has really been really nice for us not to have to pack up every few nights, but it's not like we've really unpacked and organized. Yeah, we're getting ready to head out of Aqaba. This is still the Aqaba vlog because we're gonna take you to the castle in Aqaba city. And then we'll be making our way to our next location, which you'll have to watch the next vlog to find out where. Just kidding, I'll tell you, it's Wadi Brahm. And we're sleeping in the desert. Let me just finish packing up and then we will see you guys as we're leaving this amazing, beautiful, wonderful beach hotel that I love so much in my whole heart and soul. Bye bye, nice room. Bye bye, Mogan Pick. We'll miss our hotel. We will. We're back on the normal vlogging game. Just gonna sketch. Trying to find the Aqaba Castle. Where are we? It's supposed to be like right here, so I might just park like right up here. All right, guys. We think we found the Aqaba Fort, but it's uh, it's like nobody here. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get in. This is what we mean. That's definitely the Aqaba Fort, but look, there's no like gate or anything. That bad. Well, I, we can still walk up to it, so. <laughs> Alrighty. But uh, this is definitely it. It's pretty much the last thing we wanted to check out in Aqaba before we head down to Wadi Rum. Okay, before we enter, it's like a little introduction to what we know about the Aqaba Fort. It was used. Well, this fort dates back to the 1500s. It was sometimes used as a pilgrimage for passers-by to stay. And then it was also used by the Ottoman Empire and it was a key position to overthrowing the Ottoman Empire. I'm not too well versed in this topic, but I don't know. I feel like we're in like a ghost town. Somehow you can walk around inside of the fort, but we can't figure out how to get down there. Cappuccino, chamomile herbs, mint tea, Coca-Cola, you are welcome. <laughs> okay, thanks. Welcome to Aqaba Castle Coffee. Dude. Well, we found the way to get in. <laughs> I think we accidentally bypassed the entrance. 
But it doesn't matter either way because we get free entrance with the Jordan. Yeah, place. I was going to say if you guys are traveling to Jordan, I'll say this in other vlogs too because it's very important. But you should get the Jordan Pass. It is ninety dollars a person, and you can purchase it on their website, on their government's website. And it covers your visa fee, which is sixty dollars, and then it covers entrance to all tourist places, including this one. And so it also includes sites like Petra, Dead Sea, Jarash, so on and so forth. So it's Petra's really the big it. one because Petra by itself is like eighty-five dollars. Yeah, so it's really worth it. We'll talk more about it in Petra, but I guess we got in for free. <laughs> Bunch of travel hack. <laughs> That's a big door. Alright guys, just walking around in some like back catacombs. Lights aren't on back here, but it's kind of cool. There's no sign saying you can't go or anything. Just gonna walk up these stairs for fun. Uh, this is pretty epic. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go get Patricia. All right, me and Patricia are, are now together. Hi. Come on. Come on, it's cool. Wait, no, come on. Come this way. Worth it? Secret passageway to go up. This is a pretty complex fort. It's definitely worth a little visit and just walk around and maybe learn more about the history than we know. If you know more, comment below. We'd like, <laughs> we'd like to know, but. Yeah, and also to just like walk around through those cool tunnels. Pretty yeah. neat. And it's situated right on the Red Sea, so it was a pretty powerful position for all the empires of all the times. <laughs> Yo, look how they use the palm tree in the rock. That's pretty cool. Look how many like secret chambers there are. We would definitely say visit this. It's pretty nicely made and you can actually like go up on the walls and stuff. Hurry, defend yourself. People are attacking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We know that this square is famous. We're not really sure for what. It is some sort of revolution happened here, but this flagpole is so tall that you can see it from four different countries. So if you're standing in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Israel, or Jordan, you can see this flagpole. So pretty cool. We also neglected to inform you that when we were out on the boat diving, you can actually, from some positions, see, I know we weren't that good at filming on the boat. We were preoccupied but you can see all four countries when you're out on the red sea so you can see saudi egypt israel and jordan pretty dope location Alrighty, guys that wraps up our aqaba vlog we are gonna make this short because we just turned off the ac to make the audio better so we just visited the aqaba fort and it's time to drive to wadi rum so thanks so much for sticking around and watching this whole vlog and it was a little chaotic but i hope you enjoyed watching hope you're having a great day if you did enjoy watching like and subscribe and comment where you're watching from we love you guys so much and we'll see you in the desert hey guys uh the water is 31 degrees fahrenheit pretty cold. Hi sir, what are the odds that you go for a dip in the Red Sea? Zero. Guys, oh my god, they decapitated Mickey Mouse. Hi 
did they get here? <laughs> what are they doing here? I don't know. And thanks for watching another vlog with us. And thanks for sticking around with... <sighs> so guys, do you want to show them our food? What? I was going to say...